Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm La Rose and today is Throwback Thursday, which is where I take a kid's book off my shelf and lovingly make fun of it. Today's book is If You Give a Mouse a Cookie by Laura Joff Numeroff. What a cool name. And it's illustrated by Felicia Bond. I really loved this book growing up. Look at that little guy in his overalls. He's so cute. But I don't remember it being this tiny. Maybe because I was a little kid when I read it, but it's like a little, just a little guy. Just a little guy. And of course, naturally, there are scribbles on the inside, but it wasn't me, Mom. This book is so tiny, but the illustrations are so, so cute. Oh, that's the wrong way. Oh, look at the little guy. Look at the little mouse. Oh, so cute. This book is about a kid and the shenanigans that happens when he gives a mouse a cookie. If you can believe that. The first thing I wanted to know when I read this book was like, why does this mouse have overalls on? And why does he have a backpack? The first thing that happens when you give a mouse a cookie is he asks for a glass of milk, naturally. Who wouldn't? What I really love about this kid's house is that it's totally messy with like shit on the fridge and he left the door open and that's how your house actually was when you're growing up. After he gets some milk, he needs a fucking straw to drink his milk. But this little dude friggin' pigged the fuck out and he just is like, cookies. Oh. If you've ever had kids in your household, obviously they make this giant fucking mess just trying to get a straw. So then the mouse wants to check the mirror because he's afraid he's got a milk mustache. Um, I feel like if you have a milk mustache, you're a cool ass person and you shouldn't be so worried about that, sir. Now, the longer I read this book, the more worried I get because clearly this mouse has some sort of like ADD, some sort of hyper disorder because he's just like bam, bam, bam from idea to idea to idea. Because I'm watching him go through all these different ideas and then he starts cleaning the house like a madman and I'm wondering, is he on drugs? At first I thought he was just a hyper mouse. Now I think he might be, <laughs> GIVE ME A COOKIE! So after the mouse cleans the whole entire house, he's exhausted. Apparently his drugs wore off or whatever. He needs another bump, but instead he's gonna take a nap. He just casually gets undressed, no big deal. I'm just confused because I thought the mouse was kind of a stranger. Now he's coming into my house, eating my shit, making a mess, and just taking off his clothes. And I'm like, whoa, sir, I don't know you that well. Put your pants back on. Oh, but of course, he decides he wants to draw a picture. And look at this! What? What is that? This mouse is fucking Monet? Are we watching Ratatouille? Okay, so that just happened. <laughs> then I stopped believing that this would happen. This kid is freaking cleaning the house. Bitch, be real. So the mouse is really proud of the drawing of his family, so apparently we're not related. And he hangs out in the fridge, and I'm just like, dude. You think you could just hang your shit on my fridge? I don't fucking know you. And then the mouse gets thirsty. He wants a glass of milk. And of course, if he's gonna have a glass of milk, he wants a cookie to go with it. Full circle joke, I love it. This mouse was clearly on a sugar high from all those fucking cookies he ate. Maybe he should eat some carrots and not another cookie. What I liked about this book was that the mouse gave no fucks. Diva status, he was just like, I want milk. I want a cookie. I want to cut my hair. I want to draw a picture. That is what I want. What I didn't like about this book was that I didn't know the relationship between this boy and this rando mouse that he gave this cookie to. I felt kind of weird. I felt a little creeped out. I was a little worried about my life. I also felt like there was some underlying message about drugs in this book, but I couldn't tell if we were for them or against them. The lesson I learned is that if you let a mouse into your house, he's going to make a huge fucking mess. And I feel like that might be a metaphor for what happens when you actually have mice in your house. Or maybe I'm just trying way too hard. Alright, and that was Throwback Thursday. So this is If You Give a Mouse a Cookie by Laura Joff Numeroff and Felicia Bond. And make sure to check back every week for more videos, comment, subscribe, blah blah blah, all the things. Throwback Thursday. Oh my gosh, I forgot to mention. Every month I do a little read along and this month I'm doing Holes by Louis Sakar. And we'll talk about it in a, either next week or the week after and we can have a little book discussion about awesome kids books. So pick it up, read it. Come back soon. Subscribe to my channel. You'll get a lot more of this and this. Okay, bye. By the way, I did not do all this for you guys. I'm about to go to work, so just enjoy 